hello hello good morning everyone how are we doing welcome welcome suzy back and today we have some indian action so we're gonna have some uh huge wars happening back to back we will be kicking off with the team xo versus uh chinese indo and after that we will have TWOB in the action they will go against the Aphelion so I have two wars ready for you back to back hi Iceberry hello uh, Fraffle welcome welcome Sleepy ahoy wow Sleepy you made it so weird to say hi to you you know like you are one of the first people ca came and say hi you know i i am in shock there hi ivan hello hello mahedi welcome alone welcome roman anthony welcome as well welcome youtube good evening to you i hope so yeah good night not morning for you but good evening to you uh so how i said we'll be kicking off with the team exo versus chinese i uh indo and after that we will have twob which is cyt in the action they will go against Aphelion united so two wars i will be streaming two wars i'm gonna start a uh, prediction a uh, moit is welcome welcome uh youtube already can vote i'm just gonna start a prediction overall Oh, Twitch, I'm so sorry. Huh. I'm gonna get my coffee. I'm awake for long, like for many hours, you know. I don't know. I just eat. Maybe that's why. All right, so let's start. Uh, we have Chinese Indo and Team XO. All right, predictions are on. Let me check. I think so. The uh, the guys were about to spin. Let me check how far we are. Oh, FJ. Good morning to you, FJ. How are you? So we are just waiting for uh Chinese Indo to accept the uh war and we will be uh, ready to show you the lineup and everything here fj good morning you woke me up slowly yes hi sam hello sorry to be human exactly <laughs> oh i don't know do you know do you have that feeling when you are yowing right and you have to do it correct way because if you don't it's like it's still kind of like pushing you to do it does that make sense Manu, thank you very much for using the Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Let me get some love uh, in the chat for you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I have to do one thing, guys. I just uh, noticed that we don't have a uh, logo added for the Chinese uh, Indo. So let me fix it. Just one second. I will be reading the chat and everything what you guys are saying. Just uh, one second. Also, I'm gonna show you uh, the bracket. Jack, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for uh, gifting subject. Thank you very much for huge support. Really, really grateful for that. Susie, do regular stream of Team XO CY team. Uh, I don't want to just like stream them every day, you know. I, w I want that uh, I'm bringing you many different teams, but today I think I'm gonna make you happy because we are uh, covering Team XO and also covering uh, CYT after this one. So we're gonna have uh, wars back to back. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is big day, guys. Tomorrow we will be covering stage three. Stage three for the golden ticket on youtube and also on twitch i hope so you guys are gonna be uh ready for it it will be long stream but it should be a lot of fun so yeah geo hello how are you what tournament name is this one is golden heart cup the price pool is 100 oh sorry a price pool is 500 uh dollars let me just uh one second
I just adding the logo here. Any leaks of the Town Hall 15? I don't think so. There is will say anything about Town Hall 15 yet. All focus right now, guys, is on uh World Championship. That is one of the biggest things, you don't know, right now. And I guess after World Championship, there's gonna be some uh sneak peeks and everything about the uh Town Hall 15, you know. But I haven't heard anything yet. Seriously, and not FJ or Mick. FJ, it's FJ. <laughs> it's trying, trying to trolling me, I see. Uh, Mickey Z, welcome guys. Thank you very much for hel helping me over on uh, YouTube. Let's look at the lineup. I'm sorry, I was just fixing uh, the logo. So for Chinese Indo, which we have the Indonesia team, we have Pan, Rose, uh, Zlevin, Komodo and Adan. For Team XO, we have Yash, Papa Monga, uh, Mogambo, Manjit, Sam, and Vihar. So these are the lineup for the both teams. And yeah, I hope so you guys are gonna be correct with the prediction there. You have to work tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. How you can work Saturday? You shouldn't be working Saturday. Yeah, I mean, you are uh, stuck there. Exactly. <laughs> So uh, let me just show you the bracket. I think so tomorrow is at 2 p.m. UTC. I will be checking that, but I think so it will be same time. Is it posted in the game? Hold on. It's showing in uh, 22 hours, 21 minutes. That's when we're gonna be live. With the stage three. Oh, so how many of you guys are doing the challenge? You know that you can win the uh, prize, right? So uh, that is the leaderboard. You can actually can check how you guys are doing. I need to sneeze. I'm sorry. All right, I think so I'm good. So, yeah, uh, someone like you can try to win the ticket, like flying ticket, uh, hotel, and of course, the watching the uh, world championship in the Helsinki. If you are the faster one, so we can check the leaderboard here in the new stuff. I think so. We still have a few more days, I think so. Two more days left for that carbon challenge. So, yeah, definitely give it a try, guys. You made it to the top eight? Shadow, that's amazing! Keep, keep trying! Can you give us a hint? You know, what did you do? Is it any trick how to be faster? You know? You know, like our human people, how we can be that fast? <laughs> FJ, thank you very much for the nada BTs. Thank you, thank you, FJ. Thank you very much. Yeah, this one is Golden Heart Cup. Let me show you the bracket. It is single elimination, guys. So if they lose, they are out. That's how simple it is. We have so many teams in. So I will try to find the uh, uh, team XO in uh, in the bracket to see how uh, who they will be facing if they win or if they lose. Let's see uh, who they have in the bracket. But you already can see some of the uh, results because uh, round one is uh, happening already for a few days. So we can uh, already see some uh, results. Like for example, Marcos Gaming is out. I believe so uh, TWOB is out as well uh, from this tournament. Uh, we, were, uh, we had the opportunity to cover some of the really good wars. Like Try Gaming uh, with that perfect war. This one was awesome war for me. X Team Esports versus XBL. I really have fun uh, to streaming that one. And here you go. There is the Team XO. So they are in the bracket with the Brian Fan Club and KT. So we'll see. So if the, how I say this is around one. Everything is single elimination. So if you lose, you are out. That's how uh, simple is it. And yeah, price pool is $500. Uh, 
So you guys have all uh, information. If you want to look at the bracket a little bit closer, just use explanation bracket in the chat and the bracket link will show up. VR is a... Uh... Yeah, I, I... I... Did I saw him playing before? Did we have play before? In uh, for Team XO, or oh, this is the, like the first time. I'm not sure. I don't uh, remember. But it's gonna be interesting war because we have some and Papa Mogambo, so that's gonna be a definitely fast uh, E Dragon hit. Uh, we have Yash Manji, so we're gonna have different strategies. I don't know what is like favorite strategy of Vihar. I don't know him that much. Usvi, thank you very much. For baby shark, thank you, thank you. Hi, Alex. Hello. I just stopped by to say hello and wish you good the weekend, Susie. Thank you very much, Alex. That's so so nice from you. Thank you. Uh, I hope so. Your weekend will be uh, awesome as well. Hi, Mohammed. Hello. How many matches today? Two matches today. Exactly. Root kid, welcome. Ripon, welcome as well. Peyton, welcome. Oh, can we see Team XO faces? You're gonna see them when they, uh, they're gonna get uh, attack, you know? Yeah, we have were playing with them. He liked the Queen Charge Lolo, okay. Hi, Tapos, hello. Crazy gamer, welcome. I, I am excited to see him in the lineup. Hi Kubra, when you're gonna be streaming our match? In which tournaments are you playing, Kubra? ABX, hello, Jungle, welcome. Thank you very much, Ivan. Thank you. So yeah, uh, I today are only gonna be streaming two wars. That is the reason because yesterday and day before I was streaming for five hours each day. So it was long days, and tomorrow is the stage three. Which again gonna be very very long uh, stream. So today I'm gonna go like easy. So I have two words for you. But otherwise I'm so excited for that stage three uh, to see the teams fighting for that golden ticket. We will have the eight screen ready. We will be watching also the other teams and of course uh, picking some of the best words. So I am very very excited for that. We are will do the skeleton donut lalo. We'll see if you guys are right. MD is excited. Nice. No, the Chinese Indo is Indonesia team. Yeah. Hi Shivam, hello. All right, I will. I will try to look at it for it. I'm. I'm sorry. There's like, uh, how I say, there's so many wars uh, right now. So many wars happening at the same time, you know. So like, even yesterday there was like eight, ten wars, and I seriously stream for five hours. So we'll try. We'll try. Hi, Rohim. Hello. Just use explanation bracket in the chat. Exactly. Hello, we welcome, welcome. So only two minutes, guys. Two minutes away from the first hit. Have I say we will be covering Golden Heart Cup tournament, Team EXO versus Chinese Indo, and after this we will have TWOB in the action. They will go against Afelion United. So uh, TWOB, we know they will be playing tomorrow for the golden ticket as well. We love these five hours. I enjoyed them too. It didn't feel like it was five hours, you know. I think I like after when I finished the stream, I was like, okay, now I feel I'm tired, you know. <laughs> but like during the stream, it was good. Sam is your friend. Nice. Hi, Yash. Hello. Where do I live? I live in uh, uh, Dublin, in the island. Hi, Ashutosh, hello. I'm getting some, a little bit coffee. 
Uh, let's see how you are voting. So, YouTube in the favor of Team XO. Thank you very much to everyone who was voting there. Hello, BB. Aman, welcome. And we have Twitch. Omar, hello, Lorca. Good morning to you. Uh, with the 4,000 channel points on uh, Chinese Indo. Jungle going big here on Team XO with the 100,000 channel points. Okay, someone really going big here. Hello, hello, Omar. I hope so. Everything going well. How is your sleep? Are you getting any sleep? Welcome, welcome everyone. We are live with the golden hard cap. With the round one, this match is the single elimination match. We have two amazing teams, Team XO going against Chinese Indo. Starting with the hit from Sam. We know Sam is pretty good. E-Dragon attacker. So let's see what he is ready for us. Very interesting. Am I seeing this correct? We are actually bringing one super archer. Is it trying to take down that air defense with the super archer? Looks like it. Because as you can see that uh, super archer range is so long. So it's nothing hitting that super archer. Just waiting for that air defense going down. Okay. That is very interesting how he did it. Now we are using the bow red spell warden ability catching all these dragons and we are coming with the slammer so that means we don't have blimp for the town hall. King and the queen are funneling that right side. Right now some of the e dragons will be chasing the enemy king front of the single inferno and the warden statue. That slammer is trying to move for the multi inferno but we have the sweeper in the range so the slammer being pushed. I don't really like these three dragons outside of the base they are not really doing much there and sadly nothing going for the town hall the queen is staying outside as well finally we have three dragons going there but we have to keep freezing even the raging there dragons going down this dragon just like changed the mind and was like nope i am not going there now the dragons over the town hall picking up the air uh, seeking air mines of the royal champion trying to save this I see hitting the tornado trap. Finally, time will going down. But look at the health of the royal champion. She will have to use the ability. I see with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Luckily, that second inferno was low health. We are taking down the uh, last inferno. But we still have scatter shot with the X bow up. We have the queen ability that E Dragon trying to get some hit on the X bow. But the air defense still can reach it. King is still tanking. Defense is on the bottom side. I don't know if we're going to be using the queen ability right now. Or is he gonna be waiting with the queen? This is gonna be very close here because the scatter shot now gonna hit, rip the archers pretty soon. Queen is on the scatter shot, going for the visitor. We have nothing uh, like unicorn or anything. Ground scary. We don't want to see that. Very nice try from Sam, but the problem was the town hall. We have three e dragons, king and the queen, going around the base. That was a huge problem, like he used the spells there, he even sent a royal champion, but just didn't work. So very nice try from Sam, it is high pets and two star, but defense for Chinese Indo. No sleep on my end, but baby good, that's good. I'm happy to hear that about the baby, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a few months, right? And after you finally can get some like minimum sleep, sleep you know. Yeah, this one is golden hard cap, exactly. Uh, chimney hello i'm sorry i don't know sometimes the uh, uh let me refresh them so uh, sometimes this commands doesn't work i'm not sure hi dark hello indeed i'm happy if i get five hours the five hours is actually amazing of my okay i thought that you are like working with the two three hours you know but yeah The poll was already up. We closed the prediction, but 
We are live with the first attack from Chinese Indo. We are coming in against Papa Mogambo and we will be using ground strategy. Super bowler. So starting first with the warden walk. And we are deploying the flame flinger. Alright, so I guessing the flame flinger goal will be the scatter shot as the warden is uh, clearing the top side of that corner. So I think we will be maybe waiting for that air defense going down before we uh, pull the warden. Let's see. All right, and now the expo on the warden. Tesla showing up, but warden with the healer still can handle it. Just have to keep eyes on that enemy warden. So we are using the raid spell. Now the warden can reach that air defense. Going also for the expo? Looks like it. Oh, we are in the range of the multi inferno. Pulling some ground of skellies. We are funneling the top side with the yeti. Flame flinger still keep going. This is spending some time, Rose here. Like uh, you can see, uh, uh, 1 minute 50 seconds. We haven't entered the base yet. Now we are pulling the warden. He needs to stay away from the enemy king. We have ice golem and the bowlers in. We need to send a, a super wall breaker or anything to open the wall. Actually, we don't want that. Looks like this wall is open, so the troops are walking around. I see. My bad there. All right, so we are taking down the multi inferno using the jump spell to connect the compartment where we have the scatter shot, but also this multi that flame flinger hitting that scatter shot. We have still golem tanking here. Healers looks like staying uh, some of them on the queen but some of them are trying to heal the super bowlers. With the second jump spell connecting the com a compartment where is the town hall. Now the real champion. She will be clearing these defenses. That's gonna keep the super bowlers inside here and taking the jump. So the kind of real champion is pushing them to go correct way here. We already used the warden ability so we don't have a warden tome right now to protect the troops. Ice is getting hit on the town hall queen took down that last inferno flame flinger pop so we have a, a cc coming out we have the yetis first yeti hitting the spring trap fire actually from flame flinger took care of the enemy royal champion this one is three star for chinese in the rows a very nice attack still have three super bowlers we have still queen with the ability and the royal champion as well so nicely done first triple in it's not time fell. I I was a little bit worried because we spent some time, right? That warden walk. Like, I don't know what was like a 1 minute 45 second when he actually entered the base. But a rose smashed it and it is a three star. Uh, TW OB in the top 16. I believe so. I believe so, yes. I, uh, I don't have the update version. So... If there was something changed, this is what was posted uh, after stage 2. So tomorrow we are streaming stage 3. So we will see if there were any changes with the teams. But yeah, tomorrow guys, a stage 3 for that golden ticket. We will be live, I think so, at 2 p.m. UTC. Yeah, a little bit longer wooden walk, but it didn't feel like we were, had a problem with the time. I didn't jinx it, saying PK. <laughs> oh. So we yeah, are tomorrow uh, for the world championship, uh, the golden ticket. All right. Today we have two wars. So looks like we have really good one here. Uh, we'll see how the second hit from Team EXO will go. Sam was very close with that first attack. We'll see, Kubra, we'll see. Whatever I stream Team EXO, oh, they lost. That's not true. They mostly win when I'm streaming them. I think so I saw them lo or lost one time. Hi, Kartik, hello. Uh, TWOB will be playing after this war. 
So when this war is over, we will go to TWOB. So yeah, uh, we have Indonesia team going against Indian team. Hello Wahab, how are you doing? Yes, Tribe has already golden ticket. So we have X Team Esport, MS Esport, Strike Gaming, and Strat Esport. These four teams I have golden ticket. I'm Amy, hello. I'm good, Yogesh, I'm good. What about the Dragon Master? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we are waiting for the second hit from team xo let's see anubis thank you yes bb they just uh confirmed today so uh we are allowed to stream the stage three so it was a really good morning uh like nice good morning message you know so yes so i will start preparing everything for tomorrow hi fado i will see you for a while welcome yeah, that Sam hit, he was kind of lucky uh, around the town hall. Like, he took the risk because he was using a uh, slammer, you know? I think so, the attack was nice, it's just like the, the patting of the heroes and dragons uh, didn't work. Alright, so Papa Mogambo, guys, in the action. Coming in here with the E dragon. So, we are blimping the town hall. We have the king and the queen on the top. As you can see, Town Hall went down pretty quickly and the loons were able to take down also the single Inferno. That's awesome. Now, we have still big group of the dragons in the middle compartment where we are using the free spell over the enemy queen and also the air sweeper. Heroes are fighting the enemy heroes. Uh, dragons are taking down the uh, eagle. Uh, this super minion is not going down. Alright, I think so the super minions actually did some damage. Sweepers as well, because again we are being pushed by the sweeper. We lost the warden. Now we have 1 minute 55 seconds, so time is fine. But we clear 58% of the base and we have to deploy the royal champion. These heroes really need to do some work, but we have three free spells, so we have to be really smart with the free spell. He decided to freeze around that scatter shot. You can see there's also some ground skellies, electro owl with the dragons trying to help a royal champion. Ice is getting quite low health, so she will be using the shell. Boom, 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 sniping the air defense and some of the Teslas. All right, we still have one E dragon left. Electro owl and the E dragon working together. You can can see the chain there trying to snipe these buildings rc dying on that archer tower now can the queen finish this base one minute left electro owl getting some heat on the boulder hut come on queen can you do it we have minion on the cannon i don't know when we're gonna be using the free spell are we gonna be freezing the enemy rc let's see queen is on the own um, Oh wow, CC. We still have Rocket Balloon. I just noticed Queen ability used right now. Electro Owl looks like going down right now. So that's mean everything is in the Queen hands. We are freezing that enemy RC. Boulder Guy is, or Boulder Hat is hitting the Queen Unicorn, trying the best. We have 38 seconds. There is only Cannon. Only Cannon can hit the Queen. Unicorn is taking the time now. He is healing her, so we have enough help. But do we have enough time? Can Papa Mogambo, Queen, finish this and Team XO hit their first triple? I will say yes. Three buildings, 19 seconds. Queen don't have to break any walls and that's mean. Oh, what? Some of the grabs, Kelly's 11 seconds. Don't do that. Come on, Queen. Go back on that clan castle. Five, four. All right, we are good. And Papa Mogambo is hitting the three star for Team XO. <laughs> Definitely didn't get scared when I saw the skeletons. But we are live. Also, from the uh, other side, Ruzaipan is in. Let's see what we are doing here. We are going against Yash base. <laughs> Almost jinx it, yeah. Uh, this one is not... Oh, hold on. How many miners do we have? So we have still a group of the miners from the, the Infernos, but we don't have heal spell. We are freezing that Inferno on the right side. Hoggies and the miners are on the Eagle. Royal Champion looks like she has healers on her. 
Uh, now, like the miners are smart, they're going for this inferno, the single one, so that's actually good. Royal Champion still have shield. Pekka, what, what's Pekka doing? Pekka is trying to break the wall here. One minute left. Oh, I still didn't snipe that archer tower. We have like no cleanup. I'm kind of worried this one could be. Uh, I don't think so. It's even. Damn fell. That ground expo with the uh, scatter shot is kind of dangerous there. I think this is gonna be like high. Wow, look at the smart play there. Uh, he used the invisibility spell for the shield because you know the one which is the dangerous is the scattershot with that grand expo but the healers uh, switch back to the Pekka and let poor uh, royal champion alone so now table change guys and that's mean team xo has percent lead against the chinese indo so very nice try from pawn but it is defense uh, mark thank you very much for ray thank you thank you can we shout out to uh Mackenzie in the chat please can one of my moderators vip welcome welcome how was your stream did you stream that space station war Yeah, it is high percent, but uh, some hit uh, 94 percent and one hit 82, so some hit was a higher one. Blue hair, blue hair. Hi, hello, Chris. Welcome to the stream. All right, Team XO, Bihar is in. So you guys were saying that he is OP Lalo attacker, so uh, let's look at him. Coco, welcome to the stream. Hello. Can we give shout out to Coco as well? Regla, see you in the chat. Thank you very much. We are blizzarding. All right, so we're not going with the skeleton donut. Someone was over on YouTube saying that we will be seeing the skeleton donut, but we are seeing the blizzard. So we are trying to also clear some defenses around the town hall. So we are actually grabbing a few. Got the heat on the single inferno. And of course, we pull the CC. Can we get the air defense before the wizard die? No, that air defense is like one hit. One super giant, yeah. Uh, maybe super giant in front of the RC. We'll see that, or maybe it's gonna be like lucky super arch, uh, super giant, you know. No, super giant in front of the cannon for the funnel, so the wizard has enough time to take down the cannon down. Okay, now we're going here with the hero dive. So using that ice golem, tanking for the heroes. Uh, queen quiet low health, unicorn trying really best, but now queen is in the range of the enemy queen, so she's using the ability. We are finding some ground skellies around the scatter shot. Queen going around, so she is not really following the king here. She will be in the range of the single inferno, so that's gonna be goodbye to queen uh, pretty soon. We're coming in here with the royal champion. We still have enemy king up there, sending the headhunter, ice golem come on. We don't want the RC. Oh no, the RC is hitting, taking the hits. Let's see, king jumping the wall. All right, I think so the royal champion is still fine. And as we are starting the Lalo, we are pushing the royal champion for this Infernos. This is very smart play here from Bihar. Let's see if that's gonna work. So wooden ability also catching the royal champion. And look at the value of RC. Going for that first inferno. After that, she will be moving for the second one. Headhunters got some hit on the enemy RC, but sadly weren't able to get her down. We are hasting over the scatter shot. RC now has still shield, so she will be using the ability. Boom, boom, boom. Sniping the sweeper. Again, help for his Lalo. That's mean. The loons don't have to fight that sweeper. Royal champion still keep going. But we have only 25 seconds are we gonna be fast enough that king is stuck behind the wall now the king will try to go for the uh, clan castle that was red bomb which lost which caused us so many minions here some of the loons hitting the tornado trap 15 seconds left this story should be uh, gone as well we have one loon over that clan castle we didn't get it king is so slowly we will be hitting 99 maybe even 98 Oh, Vihar, that was so unlucky. That was red bomb, guys. I believe one or two red bombs killed so many of his minions, and we are hitting the downfall. 
Very nice shrug. 98%. Hey, Mason. Hello. Yeah, time it was issue. Yeah, it's Indonesia team versus Indian team. Very nice try. Yeah, that one was a uh, bad luck, definitely. Hi, Noon, hello. Oh, Coco, okay, okay, I wanted to ask you. I heard that you are playing the new world. Are you? I got addicted to that game like a few months ago. He didn't freeze the warden to save RC. I don't know, it was looking good. Like he had like still so many loons left and everything. Komodo is in. Let's see. So Indonesia coming in here with the third attack. Again, they're back here uh, with the Super Bowlers. So Team XO right now with the one triple and two town fails. That's so sad to see. Let's see. We are coming with that uh, wooden walk. Uh, I think so we will be aiming for the scatter shot here. Nope, maybe even going here with the flame flinger. Alright, so letting that wooden to help the flame flinger. Alright, Yeti funneling that 9 o'clock corner. Alright, we are already getting some hits on Scatter Shot. Now, do you think that Flame Flinger will be moving on the right side? Where the Flame Flinger will go? Going left. I don't know if we want that. Because he will be like kind of behind of the old troops, you know? Right now we have the X-Bow on the Warden, so he will have to think about it because he needs that X-Bow to get off of Warden, so the healer switch. So we are jumping Golem right now on the X-Bow. Now the Flame Flinger is even targeting the X-Bow with the jump spell. You can see we can connect the Town Hall. We have the uh, King with the big group of the Super Bowlers going for the Multi Inferno. Now we pull the CCs, but like what the troops are doing? Everything is ignoring the right side. Like the Super Bowlers with the King being full on the left side. Single Inferno on the Queen. Right now she's under Tom, so she's uh, being protected. We are freezing over the Town Hall, but also that single Inferno healers are not doing great job. You can see we are down to the one Super Bowler here. It's gonna be hard to clear, guys, because losing the Super Bowlers that early, that's mean we still have a lot of work to do with the heroes. Queen is on that single Inferno. You can see that uh, Warden being hit by the ground expo, so rip the Warden. Flame Flinger Pop, Royal Champion now coming in. We have Yetis, so they're gonna be just catching up while the Royal Champion will be hit by every defense on that side. Using the Invisibility spell on the enemy Queen here. Again, Ground Expo now back on the Queen. As going here with the shield, boom, boom, boom. Maybe can get a scatter shot. She did it before she died, but I don't think so. Queen can clear this, so that's mean we will be hitting the two star and the pets and gonna be very very important here so let's see how much person we can hit right now we are with the 78 percent 79 80 gonna be 80 80 percent very nice try what do you think guys about that flame flinger i'm kind of confused do you think that flame flinger had the value It just feels like, I don't know, didn't get that much. Like, was helping with the warden, but after, I don't know. Hi, Tony, hello. Oh, Adam, thank you very much for host. Thank you. I didn't get the notification. Why the notification didn't come in? Thank you very much for host. Thank you. Flame Flinger Swag? 
And I wouldn't say just swag, but I just don't think that it was like OP value, you know? Alright, we have Manjit coming in here with the hybrid. So, guys, this war is crazy because for second we have one team with the lead after the table change. Now the another team is taking the lead and now team xo is bugging the lead let me remind you this one is single elimination so team which lose will be out oh is that mean that like final attacks will be deciding let's see so we are starting with that queen charge all right we still have town hall up I don't think so he wants to take down the town hall with the queen, especially that she's spotting towards that multi inferno. Look at that super ball breaker. Is that super ball breaker gonna make it? Nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that RC was savage. Oh no, that RC is just savage super ball breaker. She sniped him, poor guy. And now we didn't open that this wall here. Okay, sending the king all for the town hall. And now will be very important which wall queen decide to break. Alright, hybrid's coming from the right side. We are using the siege barrack there. King, come on, you are taking your sweet time. Healers are in the trouble. Alright, here you go. Town hall going down. Queen is on the visit tower. We are healing over the scatter shot. Finding few ground skellies. I see some headhunters, but they are not on the tomb as we didn't use the warden ability yet. Yeah, we are, we are using the invisibility spell, but we didn't make the healers invisible. Rip the healers. This is not going well. We have now a uh, wooden ability, big group of the miners, and the real champion going for the multi inferno. Queen breaking this wall. She can reach these buildings. He's trying to keep her alive. He froze at the scatter, but she had no health, so we didn't get the value of the queen charge, and this is very scary now, because the royal champion with the hybrid still has to clear a big part of the base. Let's see, Ice is on that scatter shot, finding the ground skellies. Hog is on the archer tower, we're going for the cannon. Now we have the Tesla farm and the multi inferno here. Is that early free spell? I see with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Sniping the Teslas. Not the ground skellies. How many ground skellies we are finding on this base? Spring trap. Oh, taking care of these hogs. Double giant bomb. Red bombs like every trap to stop the royal champion. Even if the RC die, I think so the miners can do it. 13 seconds left. No! RC going down. Cannon is surviving. Please don't be out of town fell. If this is gonna be third downfall for Team XO, are we hitting 99? Are you serious that we are hitting 99? No way! It is downfall, guys! Munch it with the 99! That's... I don't know what we are watching, guys. <laughs> this is... Like Team XO, like what's happening? 99, 94, 98, we all seeing thumbfells from them. Oh, your word got cancelled? I'm so sorry. Yeah, Chinese Indo is Indonesia uh, clan. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I... I agree with that free spell. I think so when he froze around that Tesla farm and the multi inferno, he told that the loons maybe gonna survive a little bit longer, but I didn't. Like they drop and maybe if he saved that free spell for that RC as she stepped in, it will be three star. But sometimes you in this kind of situation you have to make that choice like in the one second, you know. It's easy for us to say, but if we are in his shoes, you know, under pressure and everything, you know. Of course, sometimes you make a wrong decision there. But let's go. Slevin is in here. So they're back with the Super Bowlers. They like Super Bowler strategy. Alright, so we are starting with the Warden Volk. And we have the Flame Flinger on the other side. So we're just are gonna be patient to funnel both sides very easily. And you can see, already can see the plan. So we will be using the Super Bowl Breaker. And we will be jumping on this building, so trying to push bowlers towards the town hall. 
and on the one side we will be using the RC for the scatter so now just need to see if it's gonna work so pulling the warden flame finger still keep going all right super wall breaker so that first wall is open we pull the CC looks like that we have ice columns coming out now jumping over the clan castle Flame Flinger still have some health, so uh, we will be able to clear a little bit more. Alright, finally these ice golems are gone, so we are start moving using the Dread spell. You can see Eagle, Multi Inferno. Bowlers actually taking down that scatter shot on the right side, but I don't see many bowlers left. Uh, are the healers staying on the queen or the warden? Oh, they didn't uh, transfer, guys. So they didn't heal the super bowlers. Now we are losing them. We are using the wooden ability. Royal champion stepping from the top side. We have single inferno ground expo on the queen. We are freezing that single inferno. The most important is to take down the town hall. Invisibility spell on RC. There is two, three set of the ground skellies. So million of skellies. That's not what RC want to see. So RC will go with the shield. Queen going with the ability. Town hall went down. Still expo up. We are. Uh, we have some yeti mines trying to hit that expo. RC clearing the air defense. We are losing true or heroes. I think so. The queen is gone wood and gonna die in the poison so that's mean only royal champion is alive and again the pets are gonna be very important here i think uh, even this one is three star the chinese in the would be behind on the person but we still want to get as many buildings as possible because the final attacks we still gonna have the final hits which will be deciding the result of the war because the both teams are sitting with the nine stars after four attacks it is 86 percent here so right now team xo with the huge person lead here 78.20 chinese indo with the 69.60 team xo we have yash yash with the hit left if yash hit a three star team xo winning Anything less than triple, Chinese Indo can win. Battle of the two star, I know, I know. Electro, thank you very much for five months. Thank you, thank you very much for ESAP. Thank you, thank you. Imagine if they two star. Uh, yeah. A Chinese Indo, if, if a team XO2 star, Chinese Indo still will have to go with the triple. Anash Bula, hello. If I'm streaming stage 3 tomorrow. Yes, I just got confirmation that I can stream it. So, tomorrow. I will be uh, covering uh, stage 3. But we have Yash coming in here. So, guys, final attack for team XO. Let's see. If Yash triple, Team X are winning and advancing to the next round. Alright, we're coming here with the Blim. We have five invisibility spells. That's mean we're going here with the Blizzard. Oh, okay. Uh, rip the Super Wizard, but Town Hall went down. Now, pulling the CC. Alright, super... Oh, sorry. A poison gonna take care of the lava pups pretty quickly. How I say? Yash needs the three star. Now, opening the wall for the queen. Sending the dice golem. Trying to tank this defense of so the queen. Doesn't use that ability that early. Sending actually second Ice Golem. Okay. 
Let's see. So Queen so far following the ice golems. We have the king outside of the base clearing the buildings around. We have the enemy queen in the uh, compartment. We are uh, sending the uh, headhunter to help, but there is double giant bomb, so that headhunter already has no help. But the ice, ice golem died, freezing everything around. So the queen is taking uh, uh, down the scatter shot. King with the ability. Can the king go for the enemy king? He does. That means a royal champion will have easier life. And now we are coming with the Lalo. Lot of multitasking because we still have heroes up. Don't think that we're gonna be saving the queen here, just letting her force to use the ability, but will be nice if she can take down the uh, evil. So that invisibility spell, very nice job there. Ice is still fighting the enemy king, so she's a little bit behind. Let's see, queen is now on the wall. Unicorn tank in that single inferno. Headhunters going against the enemy royal champion. Royal champion is Next to the multi inferno she can do it now we are freezing over the scatter shot and the tesla farm only 50 seconds left it was very slow start with the heroes so that's mean the lalo needs to catch up here we have already cleared up as you can see plenty of minions already trying to clear all these buildings on the bottom side we got some split with the loons i see amazing that going for that single inferno we are triggering the uh, tornado trap that doesn't matter i see was outside of the tornado trap 30 seconds comes life are we good with the time i would say so that's me team xo getting the win here against the chinese indo yes beautiful attack under pressure and that's me team xo finishing here with the 12 stars congratulations to them they will be advancing to the next round but have i said don't go anywhere after this immediately we will go to twob which is crown youtube they will go against affiliate united so there's gonna be one more war happening after this one we will wait for that final attack from Chinese Indo to see if this war is actually decided by the percent. Hi game face, hello. He makes a gold the golden ticket? No. But TWOB has chance. Because they are in the top 16. Alright, Adan is in. Going with the hybrid against Sam. Let's see. Alright, again we are starting like with the flame flinger and using the hero to assist them there. And we are using the super wall breaker, so opening the wall where is the town hall, but we have to be very careful because there is enemy queen and the enemy king as well. Wow, that headhunter got sniped pretty uh, easy. Uh, tank, yes, he did, he did. Alright, headhunter on the enemy king. Alright, Exvo, ground Exvo on the Queen, but with the Raid spell. Actually using even the Invisibility spell protecting the Queen. But that's mistake. Because as he used the Invisibility spell, that Flame Flinger got a hit by the ground Exvo. Now, we're not gonna get a scatter shot. Hog is just hitting the Spring Truck and pulling the CC. So also not value of the Hogs. If you're just counting, they got only that ground expo. Starting with the hybrid uh, from the corner, King going wrong way. We need King going back for that scatter shot. All right, Super Wolver can gonna be in the tornado trap. Are you serious? Oh, poor guy! Can he open the wall? He did as he died. All right, so the queen now has the access for both multi infernos. Right now, we were healing the hybrid on the top side, even going with the royal champion there as well. Queen decided to go for the clan castle first. 
But now that first multi inferno is gone, we have big group of the miners over the clan castle. Queen is helping there, healing the top side. Not sure how many troops were in that heal spell. Now freezing that multi with the eagle. Uh, King is pulling some ground scaries, but also we are finding the Tesla farm. Now put these miners hitting the giant bomb. Electro owl hitting the multi inferno. So all three infernos are gone, but the queen is gone as well. Royal champion and the miners being hit by the eagle. Ars is still holding on the shield. We are hitting the giant bomb. Ars will go with the shield, and this one will be defense. Ars with the shield. Boom, boom, boom there. Very nice try, but it is defense. Needed, needed that scatter shot to go down with that flame flinger. It's high pets and two star, but very nice try. Super wall breakers, right? <laughs> oh. So what is the final one? Ninety percent here. Congratulations, Team XO winning 12 to 11. I see in the chat that you are guys saying that Papa Mogambo was late with the attack. Even if that was penalty, one star, Team XO would win on the person. So don't worry, they are good. They are advancing to the next round. So congratulations to them. GG to Chinese Indo. Let me give you channel points. And Susie is going to move to the next clan because we will go now with the TWOB versus Aphelion United. That scatter also killed the queen. Yeah, that scatter shot was uh, brutal. All right, let me start the new predictions. All right, so who will win? Yeah, Coffin, I hear that all the time. But you know what is funny? Always when I stream, then they win. So, <laughs> I don't know. All right, let me find out the clan tag, but big big shout out to both teams, it was good war. All right, so this one will be a mango tournament. So let me start, uh, change the titles and all this stuff. Hi Keeper, hello. Who won? Team X audit. Is blind is for Indian team? Uh, I can tell you that way they have Chetan. And they have players from Team Ninja. So I would call it like they are international team. Hi Roy, hello. Alright, YouTube you are set. Now Twitch. Alright, so this one is Aphelion United versus TWOB Mango Tournament. Okay. 
two will win. They will be spinning right now, guys. So after that, I will show you our lineup. Yeah, I know, Make. That's why I ask. I knew that's gonna be like that. <laughs> Alright, correct the logos. Give me a second. Oh. Alright, here we go. They start with the beautiful three star, and after they never look the same. Uh, Zemo, what are we talking about? Like all my team wars. Oh, that's so true. Always when I stream Usvi clan or where Usvi plays, <laughs> they lose. I am bad luck for Usvi team. I, I, that's also true. We need to have chat about the walls. Aren't they like beautiful? I am working on them, like look at this. Every day they are improving. I got that the new scenery. I think so it's just so cute. Like it has so many colors. What do you think guys? I got it yesterday. It's just looking so cool. All these looms. So cute. Hi Shaz Clasher, hello. Can we ex uh, expect Town Hall 15 the next update? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. Town Hall 15 will be like before the boards. So, and we know the boards are like end of the uh, September. So you still have to be patient, guys. Hi, SD. Hello. Oh! Oh! <laughs> much i'm just waiting we are like one minute away okay oh i am so rocky all right let's see twob you know them as the cyt clan you're gonna see them playing tomorrow is that fj uh you're gonna see them playing tomorrow for that golden ticket in that round of 16 we have gohil sumit mana ajs and taya for Aphelion United, we have those Lord Kirk, Spunk, Mareti, and Mr. Polar Bear. Love the beautiful colors. Yeah, me too. Like, the scenery is so nice. Ah, uh, yes, Ronnie, they are. They have many uh, different Aphelions. They're one uh, big happy family. <laughs> oh, you were talking about the Chinese uh, in the team? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see what you are saying. Yeah, they started well, especially like, you know, they uh, go to defense and after they hit a three star. Why they change name? Uh, they got sponsor. So the name of the sponsor. Hi, Roshan. Hello, Akil. Welcome. Yeah, guys, if you are uh, new to the channel and you are enjoying the stream, please don't forget to click that like button. But let's go welcome welcome everyone we are live with the mango tournament this one is week five so this is still war in the for the points to make it to the playoff all right so regular season and we are, we are kicking off with the first attack from Aphelion united we have queen charge lalo strategy against mana thank you very much to everyone who was voting and just closing prediction you have like 30 seconds for the prediction kubra if you don't see it look at the bellow in the chat go 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 because i am about to close the prediction 
All right, so as you can see, we got the queen inside the compartment. Where is the scatter shot? Ground expo hitting the queen as well. I see some action with the sneaky goblin just uh, paneling for the king. Uh, Kubra, you know where is the channel points? Try to check it there. You should be able to see it. If you don't see it on the top, or a refresh. Let me know when you are done, so we're gonna close it. Alright, so this is big multitasking. Local Ancho, goal is to take down the multi inferno. Why we are queen charging the right side? King and royal champion going for the eagle. RC will have to fight the enemy king, but with the king and the headhunter help. Log launcher pops, so we have the loons coming out now that headhunter trying. Oh, wow, I see. We have the headhunters with the loons in the log launcher, so we took care of the enemy queen. Very smart, okay. Now, using the raid spell on the queen, trying to keep her alive and funneling that right side so the queen can go for the town hall there's still enemy cc so we are using the poison on the super uh minion starting with the lalo from the top as going for that multi using the invisibility spell we're gonna uh, take down the multi inferno nice value of rc now the another set of the headhunters for the enemy eyes to see queen taking down the town hall single inferno there so we are freezing that's mean we can take down the single inferno with the royal champion this is beautiful attack from Aphelion united i really like it nicely done like we totally smash it we have like look at how many spells left what the hit and that surprised me like we used the headhunters what was it three headhunters and loons in the log launcher wow very nice attack it's very smart with that when we decide to use the spells on the royal champion because she got beautiful value nice funneling here to push the queen go for the thumb hole that was so many uh great uh, parts of that attack so beautiful attack from Aphelion united hitting their first triple Yeah, the people are already posting the exactly the name of the TWOB. Thank you very much, chat, for helping. Yeah, crush it. It was a nice plan, nice attack. Hi, Aaron. All right. We have mana in hybrid. Hybrid action here. Because that was OP hit really like that attack and especially like you were you went in as the first so you didn't have that much time for planning i like it very impressed with that hit mana coming in so mana amazing hybrid attacker let's see so we will be queen charging from that three o'clock corner all right headhunter for the enemy king Right, enemy king going down unicorn with the healers all good sending the cocoons but actually they even made it to the mortal so getting uh, or helping queen a little bit there now super wall breaker okay that's mean queen sh maybe will be walking for that scatter shot this love i'm showing down on the top so we pull some uh ground skellies Let's see how we will be doing this. Is he gonna start with the hybrid from this side? Yes, because we are deploying the uh, siege barrack with the king on the top. All right, so the hybrid will go between. So they are uh, clearing the Tesla farm uh, pretty fast using the heal spell. Now the hybrid with the real champion should start moving for the multi inferno and also pushing the queen go to the bottom side where she can reach the enemy queen and the scatter. Right now we still have the miners on the storages but now they can reach the uh, multi inferno. I think so we lost a big group of the uh, troops on the top around that scatter shot. RC sadly will be now a log on the lava. This group of the miners splitting badly here. We cannot really do much about them and we will be holding on the wooden ability because I think is he going with the hybrid for the town hall we are using the raid spell there so the hoggies are on the town hall pekka of course needs to break the wall wooden helping to sniping the town hall but now hogs coming back 
and they are crossing the poison so they will be dying on the poison finally the royal champion stepping in as she's done with the uh, lava pups she helping with the multi inferno queen is on the wall we still have rage and invisibility spell here queen can do it with the royal champion health 45 seconds will be enough and mana will be hitting as well three star for twob using the red spell wow why the queen is not going for the barrack 28 second RC is clearing everything on the top side I actually thought that queen will go for that barrack because it looks like it was closer but honestly it doesn't matter we will be fast enough so nicely done both teams with the first triple in hi Arian hello Yeah, mana is uh, focusing on the hybrid. Like you have the players which are just focusing on one strategy or you have players which are trying to be good with them in many, many strategies. Who will win? I don't know. <laughs> I don't dare to predict. I don't dare to predict. I just hope it's gonna be decided by the final attack. That's what I wish, you know? So it's be like exciting until end. Hi, Goblin, hello. Muffin, welcome. Welcome, Sal. Now, man, thank you very much. Aksha, thank you. Hello, Vicky. <laughs> All right, Spang is in. Afflion Unity is in with the second hit. Let's see. So coming here with the Queen Charge Dragon Rider strategy, we kind of going here against the ring base. Alright, so Queen Charging from top, Headhunter on the way, and we are blimbing. Is it gonna blimbo the eagle with the move? Whoa, 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 there is a bunch of seeking air mines. Where we land? I think so we land behind the wall, so we are good. With the raid spell, yet is taking down that multi inferno and the eagle, so we got what we wanted. So all good. So as you can see, if that multi inferno is gone, that's also protecting the healers because we are clean charging from that side. Now we are funneling with the king here. Like if the king funneling these buildings, the queen should be patting inside this compartment. Let's see if that's happening. King ability use. Definitely queen should go around. Maybe what she's doing. Let's see. She's on the scatter shot. Coco Loon. Headhunter kind of... Oh, Yagi still tanking. Okay, Headhunter getting some hits. And the Queen going correct way. That enemy Queen is almost gone. Queen is taking some damage here. She was forced to use the ability. Now we're gonna... Do we have poison? We do. Waiting with the poison. Oh, sadly the archers... Archers are on inside the poison. Sending the minions here to help with the lava pups. Now, finally, the arch is going inside the pool zone, but not, don't think so it's gonna be enough. So that's slowing down the queen, but just a little bit. With the jump spell, she's going to correct way. She will try to take down the town hall. Freezing the town hall with the single inferno, raging the queen again. Royal champion stepping in, and we are starting with the dragon riders. We still have over one minute left. Queen is on the town hall. I see uh, will be joining. She's triggering the tornado trap. Freezing that single inferno, she will be now fighting the enemy royal champion. There was chill, boom, boom, boom. Got the hit on that single inferno. Dragon Riders, as they're on the tomb, were able to snipe that single inferno. But we still have many dangerous buildings on this corner. As you can see, Tesla Farm, Scatter Show there as well. So the Dragon Rider still has to clear a big part of the base. We lost the royal champion. Queen still has some healers on her. We have only 35 seconds. I see only two Dragon Riders there's left using some of the clean actors like the sneaky is bizarre like really trying to be fast with this uh attack 25 second still needs to clear 15 buildings i'm not sure guys this is a little bit uh close with the time even finding the ground scale is that slowing down the heroes baby dragon with the minions keep going 12 seconds left 
I'm scared. You cannot send anything here because the Archer Tower is up there. We will be hitting the town well. Probably something around 96% here. 95, 96. Yeah, it is. Very nice try. But first defense in this war. 96% town fell. CYT is TWOB. They have new uh, sponsor. Glass, hello. How are you? Guys, stop arguing over on YouTube. You want me to stream this kind of wars, but you, you have to be nice. Like, hello, YouTube. Don't, don't be mean to each other. Do I have to be your mom again? What did you hear, Vicky? <laughs> uh, Rohit, no. On the main channel, it will be uh, Woody, uh, Maxi, and Itsu. But I will be streaming on my channel tomorrow. Usvi, thank you very much for checking uh, YouTube. Roy, I didn't until you told me. <laughs> All right, Go Hill is in. I still remember hit from Go Hill. If you guys were on my channel, we were streaming TWOB. Do you remember that Electro Owl taking down the town hall? Do you remember that crazy close hit from Go Hill? Still in the shock from it. Hi, Sahara. Hello, hello. All right, so Gohil is in, coming here with the Inferno Dragons and bringing few Dragon Riders. Let's see. So sending bunch of the rocket balloons and you can see that value of the dragon rider can be very nice because we're going for the eagle. Uh, as we use the rocket balloons, they took care of the uh, defenses which were hitting the dragon. So all good. Now we are raging over the scatter shot. Also, we have the enemy royal champion there. Freezing the multi inferno using the wooden ability. So catching the blame in the tomb. All right, freezing the multi inferno again, raging over the town hall. All right, deploying the king and the queen on the top side, so they will be clearing uh, the buildings and taking down that air defense. So that's gonna protect these dragons, which are still flying towards them. Now, freezing the core of the base again. Very nice free spell, I have to say, because also catching, as I was saying, catching that sweeper, but now we didn't. When we froze the enemy queen, we didn't go to that sweeper here. All right, let's see. One minute, 30 seconds. Still have king, queen with the ability and the royal champion, which he hasn't deployed yet. Now, freezing that single inferno, inferno dragon on it. You can see we are using the skeleton spell, trying to distract that corner. It's make me feel that he wants to swag the RC. Is he trying to swag the RC? Hold on a second. We have two Inferno Dragons. King with the ability. Again, pulling the Nether Ground Skellies. Queen going around. We're going to swag the Royal Champion, guys. It is swag RC here. Go heal. With the three star for TWOB here. Nicely done with the swag RC. So that's mean after two attacks, TWOB taking the lead against Aphelion. <laughs> he was pushing there. <laughs> uh, Cyan, no, I was there for the stage two. Now this one is for stage three. And they're also rotating the casters, you know? So it's gonna be Itsu, Maxi and Woody. Mask, hello! How are you? What are you wearing? The round neck? Necklace. <laughs> I don't know, is that good answer, Chimney? Daffy, hello! 
Ja, zwake Ars in der Susi Stream. No Boom Boom. Which tournament this is? Our Mango Tournament. This is group stage. So this one is not like the single elimination. So the clans can still like chill, but they want to earn the point for the win because they want to make it to the playoff, okay? All right, all right, Lord Kirk is in. We're coming here with the Hydra. All right, zapping the sweeper. All right, bringing one clone spell. All right, going here with the uh, super minions. All right, single inferno is down. Nice. Town hall going down as well. Oh, big group of the super minions pulling the uh, tornado trap and hitting also uh, some of the red bombs. But I don't think so. We wanted anything else, you know. The main goal was the town hall with that single inferno. But not just that, but also setting up pathing for the dragons. We pull the CC, so we still have headhunters and some of the archers uh, walking around. Dragons are in. Right, how soon we will go with that wooden ability? There is a bunch of red bombs and the seeking air mines. Right, Inferno going down. King is inside this compartment. Where is the eagle? Now, wooden ability and raging. Dragon split into the two groups. That group on the bottom side taking the uh, value of the raid spell. Now, we are using the poison. I think so on the enemy RC, but she's outside of it. We are taking some damage. There is air defense still up on the top. We got the eagle down. We still have some of the dragons left on the bottom side. Dragons on the top side are dying. Warden is alone. We will be losing the warden here. Nothing looks like the warden will be joining here. So that's mean heroes still have a lot of work to do. Not a seeking air mine. So we are down to the two regular dragons. Royal champion. Perfect. Sending her for that multi inferno here. Can we still do it? We have one free spell. We still have RC and the queen with the ability. RC on that multi inferno. Still Tesla farm X-Bow, we are freezing that X-Bow and the scatter shot here. RC will go with the shield, so boom, 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 sniping the Tesla. Ooh, double cannon, ground skelly is, yeah, 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 guys, the royal champion going down pretty quickly. And this one will be defense for TWOB. Very nice try. Whoa, that was weird luck. Eighty-five percent. Nice try. Is eighty eighty-six? Sorry, haven't seen the arches there. I think I'm watching Susie only because of her boom boom boom, but today we are just of oh there's just few boom boom boom. <laughs> oh they have to stop swagging the real champions, you know. Oh thank you very much, Imlay, thank you. Uh Gabian, bonjour, hello. I should sleep early so I don't miss stage 3, but I can't miss your stream. Uh, am I correct if I say it's 2 p.m. UTC? What time is it gonna be for you, Anthony? I have to check it, but I think so it's the same time like uh, previous weekend. Uh, Kushal, I don't know which matches I will be streaming because I haven't seen the brackets yet, but we will be covering many. Again, I will try to stream different match every round, but guys... Sumit is in. So TWOB coming in here with the third attack. We are using the Hydra and we are bringing two clone spells. Hi, money. Hello. Is 3 p.m. UTC? I thought it was 2 p.m. No? I don't know. We can. I have to check. Oh, 
All right, so dragons are in. So far we have like two, three dragons. Oh, I haven't even looked at the blimp. Oh, that's, oh no, there are red bombs, tornado trap. Oh, we are still far away from the town hall. Now the super minions are on the town hall. I see another red bomb. Oh my God, how many red bombs we have there? Super minions still surviving. Not gonna survive for the long time, but they got the value which we wanted. Now, I see some of the dragons outside of the base. Not really what we want. Uh, we lost the dragons on the bottom side, so we have only troops left on the top. Some of the super minions still alive, so helping uh, these dragons, deploying the king. So we are keep uh, clearing the buildings around the base. There was two seeking uh, air mines, ouchie there. Sumit still have the royal champion, hasn't deployed. As he coming in now from that corner, we have Bana free spell. So freezing around the... Oh, we missed the free spell on the scatter shot. So that means we are getting hit by a uh, scatter shot here. Arcee getting low health. Soon she will go with the shield. We still have multi inferno and uh, we will be ending on the scatter. I don't know, guys. Can we do it? Arcee stepping in. Boom, boom, boom. Going for the multi inferno. We got it. B moving for that expo. Still over one minute. So time is not issue. The Royal Champion is amazing. She even going for this Boulder Hat and she will have enough to take down the Expo with the Warden and the Super Minion help there. So Sumit hitting the 3 star as well. So TWOB guys going here 3-4-3. Three, three. Nicely done. You don't really see many times when people are using the Super Minions, you know. Uh, they're like alive after you clone them and they're clearing the stuff. Is the summit of the YouTuber? Yes. Look, hello. Oh, money. I'm sorry. I'm not doing base uh, review. Hi, Tommy. Hello, hello. Yeah, by the way, guys, thank you very much. We almost hit 500 likes. Let's see if we can get 500 likes at the end of the stream here. So if you enjoy the stream and you haven't clicked that thumb up, please, please do. RC Swag will give any extra advantage? No. Hi, hi, Ed. hello. Regal does base review. He does? I didn't know that. That's new things for me. <laughs> it feels good, man, today. That's good. Good to hear that. Yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Navendra. <clears throat> Big shout out my moderators over on YouTube. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much there. All right, Mr. Polar Bear is in. What we have? 23 sneakies. He's going for the town hall, isn't he? Alright, so we zap the enemy queen and a scatter shot. Alright, we are funneling the top. Oh my god, there's so many things going on. Like the sneaky everywhere. I think so, we will try to take down the town hall with the sneaky. So we will be using the warden with the heroes. So we funnel. And we are using the uh, log launcher. And again, like log launcher, not just opening the wall, but we'll be hitting also the eagle and soon that multi inferno. Sneak is still trying to clear these storages first before we're gonna get close to the town hall. Warden ability being used right now. Let's see. So that wall will open any second. I hope so the hero's not going around. Come on, heroes, walking the as we want. We want them still stay inside in the base. Log launcher, getting some hits on that multi inferno. We have dragon riders now coming in from that corner. We are just using uh, testing with the sneakies for the traps. Not a sneaky goblin. This is so much multitasking. 
All right, yet is coming out from the log launcher. Go, go, go. Go for that single inferno. Invisibility spell on Sneakies. Raging this dragon rider. Sending the RC from the top side. So she will take down the multi inferno. Tesla farm showing up in this corner. We are deploying some of the cleanup as the dragon rider is clearing all these defenses around. RC still have shield. We still have one freeze and one invisibility spell here. RC on the top. All right, RC with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Air defense to Tesla's gone. Tornado trap slowing down these dragon riders. He got it. Like, this is smart. This was beautiful attack. Like, that was just so much multitasking. I really love how he played with this base. You know, like, zapping this corner. You know, dragon riders on the other corner. Sneak is on the bottom side. Heroes on that side. Royal Champion clearing that one. That was a very nice plan and nice attack from Mr. Polar Bear. So, Aphelion United hitting their second triple. GG. Very nice. Chaotic? He had it all under control, you know? Welcome, Mr. Polar Bear. Nicely done. Nice attack. No one cared that he missed the earthquake spell. He smashed it. He missed the expo? Oh. <laughs> Still GG. You guys should say like that was good hit and you guys are like how could you miss this? <laughs> uh money she I do. Hi Refat, hello. Okay. Tie up is in. Tie up coming in here with the skeleton but do not. Uh, okay, I think so we made it invisible. <coughs> I don't know. That multi inferno still have a lot of health, but the same story, we failed it, we failed it. Yeah. We made the building invisible there. I think so twice, and wasn't enough, so... Now... This is very hard recovery, like, because you are using so many spells on this. It has to work. It's kind of like almost not possible to uh, recover after this, but we will see. Let's see. So he will try to take down the town hall with the queen, but she will be pulling the CC. Now we have the king and the royal champion on the bottom side and it looks like also the tesla farm gonna be there. Of course like million skellies. Alright, queen going down. RC still being hit. Oh, RC shield will be used any second. Alright, she's sniping the buildings around the scatter shot, but I think so she will get the distract by uh, the enemy CC. So this is not going well here. And yeah, even the heroes didn't get like, I'm sure we were planning for that scatter. This building should be already gone. Now we have the enemy CC, which are really bad because we have super minions, okay? They're gonna be destroying his loons on that bottom side. Even the dragon rider has no chance. So we are aiming to hit something like high pets and two star. Right now we are on 64 pets and we still have uh, some of the cleanups here. Uh, plenty of uh, minions and the uh, lava puffs. It's still insane how close we are getting here. Like, if he got that uh, value of the skeleton donut, it is three star. You know? Like, these are the buildings which we didn't get it. Like, the multi inferno with the clan castle, we didn't get it with the skeletons or uh, donut. And the uh, uh, scatter shot. Oh my god. We actually took down the multi-inferno with the loon drop. Like, 
if we didn't mess up with the spells, this is three star. Like that. <laughs> that scatter shot is low health. Ground expo doesn't bother us, but I lose at the wood and probably will go for the enemy king. I'm thinking here, like how close is this? Wow. Now the minions are pulling the red bombs. 97%. Taya, very nice try. Nice recovery that he got to the 97. I couldn't believe that his loons made it that far. Yeah. But that was so, so close. Imagine if he actually 3 star after like uh, swagging that skeleton butt donut. Hi, Prangel, hello. Okay, guys, so right now, Aphelion United uh, with the 10 stars, uh, TWOB with the 11 stars. We are going to the round of the final attack. Maret is still with the hit left, and we have Ajax with the attack left. Hi, Luke. Hello. All right, so final attack for Aphelion. We have Queen Charge Lalo. Uh, Chimney, I don't know. It's not over yet. Alright, Blim on the way. Alright, Raging the Queen. I think so, we wants to clear this building, like, especially that single Inferno. Let's see how much more this Yetis can do. We are using the Raid spell on them. They are not doing much here. They are dying pretty quickly here. Oh, they didn't even got the x Ball. Not even the Multi. I don't know. We pulled the CC, so the Super Minions dying in the Poison. Okay. Oh, sadly, the textbook will be now fixed. Alright, King on the top side. Whoa. Kiba is on the Queen. Invisibility spell. Alright, let these uh, healers keep healing her. Now, we have some Super Wall Breakers action. We will try to open the wall for the Queen. But as the multi inferno didn't go down, you can see the healers are in the range. There was one Seeking Air Mine, so we are down or losing one healer here. Not a Super Wall Breaker. King ki uh, keep funneling here, using the ability to take care of the enemy Royal Champion. Now, Queen can reach the scatter shot. Can she go inside for the Town Hall? Let's see how smart the Queen is. She's going in. All good. We are getting the queen here. That's very nice play there. Uh, that loon finding the red bone. Queen is on the town hall. She still has the ability. We have over one minute left. Now starting the Lalo. Queen can reach the eagle. So that's uh, OP. But we have to take care of this loons. He's going here with the warden ability. So loons are being protected from that scatter shot and the multi inferno here. Freezing that sweeper. Now they didn't get good split. I think so there's like two loons on the multi inferno. Is it gonna be enough? The loons over the scatter shot drop. So that's mean. Oh, these loons were able to take down the multi, but the scatter still up here. So that Lalo is not moving that quickly. We have only 35 seconds. We still haven't deployed the Royal Champion. Queen is keep funneling. Please deploy some troops here. Here you go. On the storage. Exactly what we needed. Now, are we going to be raging this loose? Go for that uh, multi inferno. There is the raid spell. There is sadly enemy king, but we have the headhunters. Only 80 seconds. I think we spend way too much time on that queen charge. 14 seconds left. I see with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Go, girl. Come on. Cannon. Visit tower. 7 seconds. We have goblin on the dark drill. What? Mariti. Hitting that 3 star for Aphelion. Wow. This final seconds. We clear so many buildings so, so quickly. No way. 
I seriously thought that it's downfall, but Mare TV the three star. Nicely done. So as you can see, they're finishing here with the 13 star. And TWOB will be deciding who will get the win in the Mango tournament. This one is week five. Jinx, jinx, jinx. No, it was three star. What are you talking? No jinx. All right, AJ's. AJ's going with the E Dragons. Okay. Hi, Sashi. Hello. Let's go. Final attack. Oh, rip that blimp. Spell. Can they do it? He's not using the spell. Why? AJ's? Oh, we don't have invisibility spell. Oh. Okay. Now we are thinking, but the time is ticking. You actually can hear. Yeah, that was good bite. Bait. Now, let's see. Let's see how we will be saving this. Oh my, we still have enemy CC up. Maybe poison the super minions. Still not poison there. Alright, we are swagging the poison. Using the warden ability. Freezing the town hall and the single inferno. King and the queen funneling the other side. Alright, freezing the... Oh, we missed that enemy king! Under freeze, now queen is forced to use the ability headhunter there. Oh, the dragons are dropping. Th this is... Oh, this is... Could be huge issue. Because how much person we can get? Let's see. We still have three free spells. Alright. Uh, one e-dragon still left on the bottom side. Ice is stepping in. How much more we can get? We are on 65, using the poison on the enemy queen here. Ice still have shield, can you still keep going? Losing that final E-Dragon. Royal Champion, guys. It's fighting the enemy queen, we are using the free spell there. One more free spell uh, left. 50 seconds, we are on 74%. Ice is still fighting the enemy queen. Wow, that's like forever, fine. Come on, Arcee. Alright, I see with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. We're actually getting much, much better person here. Royal Champion on the visit tower. 32 seconds. We still have what? Four archers and minion. Using the, all these archers, they're not gonna be able to do it. Nope. We have archer tower in the range. Using the minion. Cannot do as well. What the... That was OP base building from Aphelion. They have no percent, guys. We are finishing with the 80%. That's not enough for TWOB. And they are losing on the percent. Aphelion United getting percent win. 96.44 for them. 95.40 for TWOB. Congratulations, Aphelion United. And GG to TWOB. Have I say Mango Tournament Week 5. What end we had? I think so he panicked. I think he panicked when uh, the Blim fell. We didn't have the invisibility spell, so couldn't do much about it. You know? But yeah. What the end and what the wars we had. I have to say thank you very much guys for watching. We were covering two amazing wars. I have a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching. Adam, thank you very much for our raid. Jack, thank you very much for gifting subs. FJ and Usvi with the BTS. Thank you guys. And have I said today only two wars. Because tomorrow we have a long day. We will be covering stage three. For the golden ticket so i will see you tomorrow uh i will set up the youtube so you guys know exactly when i'm gonna be uh live 
We will be covering some really OP actions. And I wish you have a great day. Now, let me give you channel points. And we're gonna host. Let's see who is live. Oh, I noticed uh, Adam. Also, we have Mac with the uh, raid as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, what the finish. Like, both wars, wars were OP. So, big, big shout out to teams. I really have a lot of fun. And now. Big shout out my uh, moderators, guys. Thank you very much uh, for helping me with the YouTube. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to host... I'm going to send you to Arius. Uh, but I can say that Batstag and Migi is uh, online. Check them. But I'm going to send you to Arius because I don't think so. I uh, host her for probably was a long time ago so i'm gonna send you there and i'm gonna see you tomorrow i love you you were awesome i hope so you enjoyed the stream especially youtube if you did don't forget thumb up and uh follow the channel and now uh, let's uh, let's start the raid yeah see you tomorrow bye bye love you you were amazing see ya